This is Asa Osakazuki on the 11th of November 2017. It's been eight days now since the last video update. As you can see, the tree's a bright scarlet red colour. Really is standing out in the garden, and the colour doesn't doesn't look real. They say this is one of the, if not the brightest red Japanese maple in the fall. And it's much brighter than I expected. You can still see some of those leaves have the, the darker red tones, which the tree had a lot of in the, in the last update about a week ago. They've nearly all gone now, and it's this bright scarlet colour that's come through. Last few days, the tree's starting to die off, especially around the back here. And I think that's down to a few nights of heavy frosts we've had. I've had at least three nights where I've got up in the morning and the ground's been white and the tree's been literally covered in frost. It's been a very dry week, a few days of wind, quite chilly. The sun's been out nearly every day, so it's been a very sunny day, sunny, sunny week as well. But um, it's really unusual to see the tree finally in its red colour after two years in the ground now, and this is the first time the tree's turned red. And it really is. Very unusual because of the, the colouring. As you can see, there's the larger Asa Katsura in the background, the little Asa Emerald Lace in the front, and to the left, the Yuanayama. The tree almost looks like coloured candy or something. Honestly, it doesn't look real. Anyway, that's the update on Asa Osakasuki for now, and I'll probably do another update during the week.